Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. You can now watch Uprising on Free Speech TV, which airs on Dish Network Channel 9415, Direct TV Channel 348, and hundreds of part-time cable affiliates, and on Roku. An organization in France that tracks hate crimes has reported that anti-Muslim attacks have sharply risen in the country since the Charlie Hebdo massacre on January 7th. The National Observatory Against Islamophobia reported yesterday that 116 incidents have taken place, including verbal threats and attacks on mosques. Islam is France's second biggest religion after Christianity. Muslims in France are a minority increasingly under pressure from many sides. There is rampant unemployment among French Muslims, double the rate among non-Muslims. Among young Muslims, the number is four times higher. Although they are 10% of the population, they comprise about half of France's prison population. Interestingly enough, the content of the magazine in question that provoked the horrific massacre is not necessarily popular in France. Despite a show of national unity in the wake of the attacks, a new poll on Sunday found that a whopping 42% of the French population opposes offensive cartoons of the like that Charlie Hebdo published. My guest is Hakim Mohammed. He's a Middle East journalist and Soros fellow reporting for Al Jazeera America in Paris, where he's covering the Muslim community in France and Europe. Welcome to Uprising, Hakim. Thank you. Now, I understand that since the attacks, there have been dozens of arrests, many more of people unrelated to the attack than people actually suspected to have been involved in the attack. There have been homes raided, and of course, the hate crimes that I mentioned uh, sharply on the rise, twice as many this month than uh, <coughs> last year during the same month. Is the French community in, uh, uh, is the French Muslim community under siege? Um, now, I wouldn't exactly say that the French community here in France is under siege, but times are definitely challenging for the entire Muslim community in, in the European continent. Now, in the wake of the Charlie Hebdo attacks, the response from the French government has been largely, let me say, expected. Uh, first, uh, prosecutors in the country have been ordered to clamp down on hate speech and anti-Semitism. And um, authorities have so far arrested what I think is 70 people, including four minors. Um, the... Um, let me say the reason behind this is they're saying that these people are spreading uh, speech that can incite violence. Now, according to Electronic Intifada, um, um, it was it reported that each case a name was made has almost always been a North African person. Now, something else is that after the attacks as well, uh, monitoring groups have reported more than 83 Islamophobic attacks in the country. And uh, something all, uh, other than this, government uh, spokesperson Stefan Le Fort has said the government is writing more laws, more deepened laws that allow phone tapping and increased surveillance. And I suspect it's going to be definitely targeted towards Muslims. Now, a good step that we can highlight is that they're now rethinking the education system to address inequality and make it more open to immigrants and migrants in the French society.